and that's why you don't drive at night. Mm. And there's one up there. <laughs> this is the dodgy cow hitting spot. Just waiting for a big load. Uh, yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> Uh, we've done 100 k's and at the Wim Creek pub here. Uh, just checking everything again. It's all good. Lovely, lovely. Everything good where it should be. Yeah. I remembered to pack everything up right. Nice one. Oh, one casualty. Oh, one knife. Oh, the old magnet thing. Swag's all good. Yeah, we'll have to work out a better way to strap that on down the track, but doing the job for now. We've just pulled into the Cleaverville Road, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, Cleaverville Road. Uh, this goes in for, I think, I uh, said 12 k's at the turn off. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. It looks pretty good. If it gets too corrugated, um, I'll just let the tyres down a little bit. I should probably do it anyway, actually. And not be one of those guys. Might have found ourselves a little spot. How good is this? Own little private beach trap. Beach. Rock. <laughs> you reckon? Ah, lovely. Do the job? Yeah, sure. Nice. Nice. Now we're gonna go work out park the bean. We're gonna get a level and all that sort of stuff. We'll be mm. done for ages. <laughs> I just went down and had a look at the water and yeah I just realized it's high tide in, 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 in an hour um, and the almanac says the fishing is ideal but we'll see uh, so I'm not too sure what I'll chuck on I'll be virtually casting straight into the wind uh, it's blowing directly onshore uh, but it looks like it drops off to a couple of deep little ledges straight off the front here. So maybe a little bib lure or metal slice or something that I can skip across the top might do the trick. Yeah, just going to rig all the crap up. Got me um, old mate custom rod. And uh, we'll see if we can hook up to a um, couple of bits of rock or whatever. High tide in about half an hour and um, give it a crack. I'm just rolling a Krusty Boys soft plastic there, uh, a little prawn shape with a bit of a paddle tail. Uh, and I've got a few more options in my bag of tricks here, which I'll, um, I might have to release to see if what works. Uh, there's a bit of a, a bit of a ledge just out past the rocks there. 
Oh, might have a flick around there. Give it a crack. Missed it. start anyway. Uh, I've got two cod and two Spanish flag and uh, a little coral trout which is my first uh, coral trout and he was pretty small but you can't go big straight up. Well you can but not if you're me. And now I'll head back up to whoa, Slippery up to camp and um Oh, we'll have a little bit of a drink, I think, and celebrate our first day back on the road. morning I am dealing with a massive head cold 
and we're going to get the boat out and as you can see here behind me is pretty good conditions it's supposed to blow up though in about an hour's time so um, I didn't have the motivation <coughs> to get the boat out so probably not too sure if it's a good idea to go diving or snorkeling but I'm going to anyway because uh, the water looks amazing here and I can't not jump in. I've got a new wetsuit top as well I want to test out so yeah I'll go for a snorkel around in close and see what I can do. Definitely won't be doing any free diving, not that I can really free dive that well anyway but yeah I'll have a look around see if there's something about, never know. Might be something to shoot. Alright, new wetsuit on. Don't know about this moustache. Tuck it in or tuck it out? Tuck it out. Looks way cooler. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll go have a look, see what we can do. Oh, that was uh, slightly successful, even though I couldn't really duck dive down because my ears won't equalize at the moment. But, um, yeah, mangrove jack. Woo. I can't even do woo. Woo! Woo! Oh. Woo! <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> I was just sitting on top of a rock and he zinged past and... Anyway. That's all, folks. That was it. <laughs> Lights out. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's my first five-star top quality eating fish on the spear. It's pretty good. Man, the midges are hard, eh? Oh, they're so bad. They're all over your hat. Honestly, I've never actually known them to be this thick anywhere. Annoying, yeah. It's, it's, not, like really, it's not really even mangrovey here. And I like, I had to right. spray myself with Bushmans just to sit in the van. Yeah, yeah, they get in the van. I don't, they're just through. They're too small. Too small, them, yeah. they just go through straight through. All right, I'll get these fish sorted and um, yeah, go from there. Uh, this afternoon, I'm going to attempt to um, cook a chicken in the rotisserie. It is windy outside. Uh, so yeah, I've set up the fire pit and made a bit of a windbreak, hopefully. Uh, I'll get that going in a minute. I'm just going to season the old chicken. Uh, I think it was Chewy, uh, made on YouTube. He inspired me to do a chicken because we have not done a chicken on the rotisserie. So grab one at the supermarket before we um, left and I've got no room in the angle at the moment because we're trying to freeze water bottles and I keep catching so many fish. <laughs> Not a bad problem to have. Nah. Uh, so yeah, I will put some oil and seasoning on it, get the fire going and we'll see how we go with this wind. <laughs> anyway, we'll give it a crack. Get cranking. 
I'll add a bit of lump char, chuck it on top, give the chicken a bit of flavour. If the wind fucks off a little bit. Yeah, so the good thing is the wind's died down. Yeah, I might just raise it up a little bit because it's getting a little bit too hot, probably. Yeah, so I just raised it up one notch. And I'll see how that goes. Oh, well, the wind's back. Um, yeah, it's definitely playing hardball. It is internal temps about 60, and it's going to be about 75. So I'll just load it down again, put some more heat beads in there, and we'll see how it goes. Do you like these? Yeah, oh, I do like potatoes. <laughs> setting it's still not getting up to temperature inside so what I'm going to do I'm going to rip it off the rotisserie and put the grill on cut it up into smaller pieces it's about the only way it's going to happen I think pretty close it's just not there mm, looks pretty good the inside's still pretty <laughs> also known as feed me. Feed me. The wind is just not let off at all. No. If anything it's getting it's like getting stronger. <coughs> Might keep the sand flies away tonight. Yeah. Perhaps not. Hopefully. Just touching them. Ah. <laughs> you could use a fork. Ah, ow. Ah. Or the tongs or I'm not very smart. Okay. <laughs> could you say I oh, know? <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> nice. Cool. That's no, good. Sweet. Could have been a complete fuck up, but it wasn't. <sighs> nailed it. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Ish. Yeah, I wouldn't say nailed. <sighs> nailed it for the conditions we had. Yeah. Alright, dinner time. Cool, yep. Let's get into it. Uh, this morning we're um, leaving Cleaverville. Uh, we've been here for a couple of nights and just going to pack up everything. Uh, we nearly done anyway. Just got to load the tinny on the roof. Uh, and yeah, it's um, it's pretty good, but you get um, the wind comes in, which is a bit of a blessing because uh, the sand flies and midges here are, um, are pretty bad. But uh, yeah, as soon as that sea breeze came, they've um, sort of buggered off. Yeah, if you can deal with the midges, it's... Um, it's a pretty nice spot. We've got three more nights to get down to Hamlin Pool, which is where we'll leave the van for the week while we're in um, at um, Shelter Bay. Um, we're not too sure where we're going to get to today. Uh, we could almost get to Hamlin Pool all in one day if we really had to, but um, we're not going to because we've got the time. And So we're going to go sort of somewhere near Nandatara Roadhouse. They've got a little caravan park behind the roadhouse. Or there's some free camping uh, just this side of Nanatara. So we might pop into the free camp first, have a bit of a look in there, and then decide where we're going to go from there. So yep, that's, um, that's what's happening today. Bit of driving. 
and heading south. Yeah, today we've got pretty much um, ideal driving conditions. I'm just sitting on 95 odd kilometres an hour and uh, we've got a bit of a tailwind for most of the day, I think. So just punch along in, uh, just got in fifth. When we get a bit of a tailwind, I can usually sit on 95 and just punt along at about 1600 RPM. And most of the time we're in fourth at about 85 kilometres an hour. If we've got any sort of you no know, tailwind bit of a headwind but yeah so a bit of fuel economy today and um, it's a lovely day. We have made it to Spud's gravel pit it's it's um that's what it is on wiki camps anyway we found a little cul-de-sac spot that we're not going to have any through traffic in the middle of the night or anything and the high, hopefully, the highway is, I think, probably maybe a kilometre over there. Yeah, pretty good. Not a bad little spot. Later on, we're going to light a fire. <laughs> it does. 